there are quite a few US cities and towns that are also animal names. So what if we had to build a zoo but we could only use those animals that are also US cities and towns? Welcome to Map Challenge. Today we're looking at US places that have animal names. Alright, so how good of a zoo would this be? Well, off the top of my head, I can think of Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. So having a buffalo in our zoo, that'd be pretty cool. It's a pretty cool big animal. So we're off to a pretty good start. But after Buffalo, I can't really think of many other US cities that are animals. So I had to do some searching. Right off the bat, we get started out with some birds. We have duck, chicken, Alaska, and pigeon, Michigan. Which, in terms of place names, I think that's unique. Uh, but in terms of animals in the zoo, not very unique. Uh, some of your most common animals in the country are ducks, chickens, and pigeons. So, not great additions to our zoo so far. If we continue our search, we find Partridge, Kansas, which I think of a partridge when I think of Christmas because of the 12 Days of Christmas song. And after Googling it, I did not know that's what a partridge looks like. So that's kind of cool to have in our zoo. Let's continue our search for more birds. We have Pelican Alaska, which I think it's kind of funny that there's a Pelican Alaska. You wouldn't think those are in Alaska. Maybe they are. I really have no idea. Uh, but we also have Turkey, Texas. And then to finish up birds, we have Crane and Eagle of which there are multiple cranes and eagle cities throughout different states. And then lastly, falcon. And our zoo is getting pretty full of birds at this point, so we better move on to something else. Maybe start out with some fish. I think the fish category is pretty strong here. We have trout, sturgeons, and marlins. And if you're not familiar with sturgeons, they can get pretty big, like 8 feet long. They're ginormous. And marlins are also pretty big. So I think that's pretty strong in the fish category. And we also have alligators that we could put next to some of the fish maybe because of good old alligator Mississippi. And if we move on from the aquatic animals, we'll get some bigger animals in our zoo and get some deer and antelope out there. They can graze in the prairie area together thanks to deer Arkansas and antelope California. And then we got coyote New Mexico which would be pretty good in our zoo, and some other majestic looking animals, the Mustang, thanks to Mustang, Oklahoma. Then we will move on to our smaller mammals, like the beaver, thanks to the multiple beavers throughout the United States, and also Badger, Alaska, which will be a good addition to our zoo, along with Wolverine, thanks to Wolverine, Michigan. And then for my personal favorite, Porcupine, South Dakota, we can have a porcupine or maybe even a baby porcupine in our zoo. Most of these animals seem to be animals that live in the state where that city is, but like Pelican, Alaska, Anaconda, Montana just is out of the pocket here for some reason. But we will definitely take it. That is a good addition to our zoo. And rounding it off with some good additions here, we have Tiger, Georgia, which Every good zoo definitely has a tiger. As we finish strong here, we also have Bear Delaware, which will give us another good addition to our zoo. And for our very last animal, we have something very special that will definitely make our zoo worth visiting, and that is Dinosaur Colorado. Maybe it's cheating to have a dinosaur because they're no longer living, but I think we're going to count it. And I think our zoo is definitely a 10 out of 10 Probably simply because of the dinosaur. But overall, U.S. cities and towns do provide quite a few animals to make a zoo out of. So, thank you for watching Map Challenge. Hope you have a wonderful day.